new condenser installed, new air conditioning compressor installed. It works, it works great, blows cold, but it will not shut up. This thing is, the compressor is always on whenever the car is on. Everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. Super quick tip on air conditioning. How do you tell if your compressor clutch is bad? So this 2011 Honda Civic had a bad air AC condenser. Let's hit in the front. The owner of the shop replaced it, and now the AC still doesn't work. What's the problem? Well, let's just start with the basics. We want to make sure that this AC compressor clutch can be engaged and it is controlled by the AC compressor clutch relay. Classic layout. Let's focus just on the load side. So focus on the load side. We want to see hot at all times on one pin test light to battery ground. And yes, the feed to the load side, the fat pin on the end is hot. Now Test light to battery positive. Let's see if we have continuity through the AC clutch coil. So test light works. What do we expect? We're at the relay. We're basically jumping power through a test light to this pin. If the continuity is good all the way through the clutch coil, we should get a pretty bright test light. Most of the voltage drop is going to be across the test light because this is a low resistance coil. It draws, you know, an amp or two, probably two amps. So let's try that. Test light works. Test light does not light. Okay, that's a problem. Definite problem. We're not looking at controls here or the relay, just at this clutch. Now, following the wires, this blue and red comes in and then this red wire goes all the way to the clutch and then it's grounded you know down there so there's no continuity how do we check wiring integrity all the way through the quickest way here instead of using an ohmmeter hook up another test light to ground as, as close to the clutch as you can get okay and now what do we expect now we expect if the wiring is good all the way, the current should flow through this little test light and this test light, so there should be two voltage drops, so they should both be dim. Let's try it. Sure enough, dim bulb there, dim bulb there. If we take this off, no continuity. So, there is a problem with this AC clutch coil. Now there's a possibility it could be a bad ground from the coil, but I don't think that's the case. We could always, uh, you know, back probe the ground wire just to be 100% sure. So put your t baby test light on the ground wire, ground it out, no light. So, this air conditioning clutch coil is open. Very quick, very easy, no meters, no scopes, no scanners. Um, and I think they might be sold separately. You can go on eBay, find one if you don't want to replace the whole compressor. We're going to tell that to the shop owner here and move on to the next one. Thanks a lot for watching. So we're back in the Honda Civic, new condenser installed, new air conditioning compressor installed. It works, it works great, blows cold, but it will not shut up. This thing is, the compressor is always on whenever the car is on. That's a problem. That's probably why the clutch burned, on, burned out in the first place. So, where do we go from here? The wiring diagram shows this is your uh, heater HVAC control unit and when you press the AC button or turn it to defog this wire 
let's see here that's the, uh, the, the smart fuse box or uh, body control module ACS follow the red wire red wire comes to our thermal protector so three through here through the junction block turns to a blue and white goes to our thermal protector which is normally closed back on a 12 blue and white back to a red on I'm sorry that red uh, those two wires okay on the, on the blue pin 4 and then pin 4 goes through this junction block to our thermo out the brown that's like the request so it's a long chain you hit the button it goes through the thermal switch to the um, body control module which is on the CAN network and finally what actually turns on the compressor there's the clutch there's the control side it's ground side switched by ACC by the actual com engine computer okay so it doesn't matter what you do with the buttons turn the fan off the air conditioning compressor and the fans still stay running it's crazy um, let's go back and take a quick look in the BCM see if our AC request is on okay so here's the scanner we're looking at that data pin right there and I'm going to unplug the compressor okay it says off AC switch off plug that back in on on so we're on the right track let's go what's the next step to the HVAC module yes so we need to determine if which what supplies the power and then something switches the ground and once the circuits complete then it'll say AC switch is on so test light the battery ground will touch this blue and white wire here the fans kick on it thinks the AC switch is on now test light does not light so the blue and white wire comes from that red pin 3 from our under dash fuse relay box so if that wire is grounded it'll think you're requesting the AC signal and what grounds that wire well the heater control panel HVAC unit all right, so we have that control wire, the blue and white back probed, or at rather a piercing probe on there. When we plug it in, what do we expect to see with this voltage? If the HVAC controller is off, that voltage should stay high. It's at 10.9 right now, and if we plug it in, everything comes on, it says 7.3. Jim, go push the button and turn the AC on. You can start up the car. That's a weird voltage. Okay, now the, turn the fan on and the AC button. Both on, okay. 10.1. Says AC switch on. Very strange. And turn the fan off. 8.7. Wow. We might have to put a scope on this. What if that's not a constant voltage? What if it's actually like a, a duty cycle or something? That's nuts. All right, so ignition switch is on, fan is off, right, Jim? Right. And with the connector unplugged from the, whatever, fuse box sense circuit, we have about 
11 volts. Okay. Uh, start the car up. We'll make sure we have battery voltage on here. Okay, about 12.6 volts. That's fine. Now when we plug the connector in, fans off, AC's off, look what happens on the scope. And plug it in, everything comes on in terms of the AC compressor. And we're down to about 8.7. That's a weird voltage. Now Jim, turn the fan on and the AC button. So something changed. It went up to about 10 volts. Apparently he still thinks it's being pulled down to ground. And turn the fan off. Yep. We're back down to 8.7. If we unplug it. Back up to battery voltage. So anything lower than battery voltage like lower than 10 volts is going to kick on the AC compressor because it thinks the button's being pushed. And in the HVAC module, there was a slight difference. Let's go back and review. Right there, the voltage actually went up, but still it was lower than that threshold to turn on to make it think the AC is being requested, about 10 volts completely bizarre so at this point it looks like the HVAC module is not doing the right thing on that request signal crazy stuff so quick experiment here with the decade box we're pulling this wire to ground through resistance and so the voltage will drop on that control wire. I want to see when the scanner will say AC switch on. So if the thing is unplugged, we're at battery voltage. 12.73. And let's see here. The resistance right now is... 10,000, so this is 30 kilo ohms plus 1 to 31 kilo ohms. If I turn this to zero, see what happens. Boom. AC switched on. 31 kilo ohms, 30 kilo ohms. Man, that is sensitive. So anything below 10 point, let's just say anything below 11 volts is going to turn on this AC system. So it's a very soft pull down the ground and you know the HVAC module is pulling it down to like 8 or whatever it was doing no matter where the switch was it was always below 11 that's why our air conditioning compressor is always commanded on. I mean, that, that blows my mind, that little threshold there. So we need to go to the HVAC module, probably order a new one. Or the other option is, if we look at the wiring diagram, this thermal out brown wire. We just wire in a manual, old school toggle that will just pull that wire to ground. That'll be AC on. And if you flip it the other way, it'll say a battery voltage, AC will be off. So something like that also obviously tied into the fan because when you turn the fan off you want the AC system to be completely off. Or order a new HVAC control unit for it but this is a really silly problem frustrating for the customer because for this problem they need to buy a new HVAC control unit or otherwise their compressor will burn out again. Right back to the Honda Civic, it's next week. We got the new climate control module in stock, straight from the dealership. OEM Honda. 
kind of hard to find but it was like almost 200 bucks for this little panel let's see if it works so right now everything's off and the air conditioner is not running which is good on this control wire you see we have 13 volts we didn't have that before remember it's a pull down once that module you hit the AC button it pulls down the signal to the smart fuse box it'll kick on the compressor relay so let's let's give it a shot first let's turn the fan on boom AC button lights up we're down to 29 millivolts I wish the snap-on leads were a little longer but there you go it's grounded and if we turn the AC button off bingo 13 volts so absolutely made the right call on this so <laughs> how many things are bad hole in the condenser replace that compressor didn't kick on found a faulty compressor clutch that was burned out replace that then it stayed on all the time and I think you know this mo this uh, control panel here it was just faulty keeping the compressor on all the time so that's a uh, that's a fix thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next one bye bye